Hey guys, I am here with Danny and Fairlong bringing you some more habits of a successful Parisi performance coach. Danny's been a great coach for us for about, what, set, five years now? Five years. Five, five years on board. We're gonna go through our kettlebell progression and we're gonna do some goblet squats here today, but we're gonna start off with the kettlebell at the waist. So Danny, let's grab that kettlebell. And as, he, as you saw, he grabbed that kettlebell with respect, with a good tight core, tight spine. Danny's gonna grab this kettlebell on the outsides of the handle. First thing, nice tight grip. He's gonna grip the, the floor with his feet. Really important to be gripping the floor with his feet strong. He's gonna really think about turning that kettlebell with his wrists and arms and activating the lats to get a strong neutral spine and maintain a strong neutral spine. It's really about activating those lats, having the normal curvature in his lower back. He's gonna sit back, pull himself into a squat. So Danny gonna push the hips back. Sit back, pulling himself into the squat. That's perfect technique, and back up. Good, let's go one more. Sit back. Important point is to keep the kettlebell close to the body so we really limit the shear forces on the spine. Really good. Now, the next progression that we're gonna go into is we're gonna bring the kettlebell up to chest height. This makes it a little bit more intense, puts a little bit more shear forces on the spine, but the cueing on this is one, Grip that floor, T think about turning your feet out. Think about abducting the legs, abducting, you know, separate those knees, get those glute me meads firing, turning the kettlebell out, activating the lats, the lats, same thing. Pull yourself into the floor, Danny. That's really, really good, and back up. He looks really good, keeping a neutral spine, nice and strong, and let's go one more. Awesome, and then we're gonna put that kettlebell down. Good, just like you saw with that rep. Now, couple things about this exercise. Really important, you can do this with all your Jumpstart kids, all your TP1, TP2 kids. This is a great way to strengthen the lower body, strengthen the core, and create greater mass-specific force. Remember, speed is about the ability to apply mass-specific force, relative body strength compared to your body weight, quickly into the ground. Danny, great job. Add these, add these uh, exercises into your routines. Six, eight, 10 reps. These are more volume type exercises where you're gonna build some, some good motor patterns and some good stability in the core. And for those younger kids, get some strength in those legs. We'll see you next time.